Yo, 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 welcome back. Protein and art go together like a shit and a fart. Yeah, welcome back. Um, of course, you can only welcome you back if you've been here before, which you may or may not have been, so take that as you will. So, here he is, finally. Um, we're back. It's about time we finish this guy for the first time in widescreen. And I'm going to show you what it is I like to do right at the end of the picture. And the little, the little things, the little bits and spots that I like to add. Oh god, what the fuck is this? Oh well. Alright. I've cheated a little bit. I got this picture out the other night when I was around a friend's house. And I just couldn't resist but do a bit of touching up. Hang on a minute, where the where the fuck's my pen? All right, just give me one minute. There you are, you bastard. Right. Here's a little something you can do if you ever draw in a nice pattern that can give you a bit of extra depth. Notice just on, in fact I'm going to, I'm going to take you in even further than that. Notice on the junctions here, just at the junctions, okay, the corners, I've made these a bit thicker, right? I've gone in and I've blacked these up a little bit. Now because I've gone over this with rubber, um, I've thinned a lot of the pen out. So I'm going to go over some of it more with you. Just to chill you out. Hmm. <laughs> I was... Uh, one of my earliest uh, viewers is a friend of mine who's... Well, he's a colleague actually. And... Uh, he made a funny little observation about my last one. Um, he's a big ASMR sort of a fan. And he said, I like the last one because I knew what was coming and it was much more relaxing. And that really made me laugh. I like the idea that he might actually be scared as to what might be coming. You know, he might be sitting there biting his nails like, oh, what's going to happen? But anyway, this one's another one for you then, bro. Keep your chin up, fella. So we're just darkening. And I've left a few of these blank. So you can see what the devil it is that I'm chatting about. Here we go. Here's one. So this is what it looked like before. Just a single line around here. And you can see on this side, I've got a bit, gone into the corner and made it a bit darker. So on this corner, I'm going to come in again. I'm going to blah black out that corner a bit and we'll get another texture line in there and you'll see just by doing that I don't know is it just me but it just gives you a bit of extra a bit of extra texture something to look at do you know what I mean and you can see visibly here how this pen is thin so we can go back over that and we can go back over this in fact Framing. Uh, I might even just go over the whole thing with you for today. You can even see how some of these are looking a bit faded as well. But I'm probably just going over the charcoal there, charcoal there which is probably why you can't see it so well. <clears throat> see how my pen's doing. Because obviously your pens do thin out over time. Yeah, they're all right. So let's go in and get some of these leopards. And I'm just going to rough all this out a bit as well. I'm just, it's all looking a bit too mathematical. This can be one of the, well, how do you want to put it? When you, when you revisit a drawing over and over again, rather than 
just doing it all in one, which a lot of people do, and I have huge admiration for those people, but I almost never do that, is you get the benefit of sort of hindsight. And you come in on something and you go, oh, actually, maybe that could do with a bit more. Look at his little boat race there. Isn't that sweet? Mmm. Just between me and you, I shoplifted that protein bar. 269. Kiss my ass. Are you quite in focus there? There we go. But yeah. Now, here's a little trick that you guys are going to just probably going to want to hit me for because it's just it's one of those things that can really can really add to shit. So you see where these my little veins are here. I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to bring it out from the line like this, just where it would be, just there. And it's a cheeky little technique to just make out like this is actually a raised texture on his skin there. And I might even pull this line back in on the other side. I've just realised what's going on here. I think the pen I used at my mate's is actually blacker than mine. This one's going to be perfect, perfect example. I'm going to make this little one looks like it's actually wrapping round in. So I'm going to go over here. But of course, I can't put a white area in there because the line's already been drawn, so it's just going to be black. Wrap that over there like that. And now it looks like it's stretching round him like that. Carry these ones out. Blacking over these again. I'll tell you what, let's try a different pen. I've got another one over here. Mm. Might be a little bit blacker. This is a little little ball nib one. We'll see how this one goes. Mm. What do we think, viewers? Uh, it's somewhere in between. That's handy. Don't like the texture of these ball ones, though. As much as the, uh, as much as the felt tip ones. Yeah. See how his fin is a bit. Definitely do with a bit more, a bit more black around it. I just remembered actually that dolphins have a blowhole, don't they? I could get a right cool effect coming out the top there. Cool. Now do we feel like his fin could do with something else, a little bit extra? Is he looking a bit, a bit plain compared to the rest of him? No, I think he's looking all right. And you see on the zoom out now, you can see all that extra blacking has just given these these veins some depth. I'm gonna pull this one out as well. So you can't you can't really see it from there, can you? Let's get you back in. Let's get you back in here. It's nothing personal, Lee. So this one's gonna come out, and we got another one here. Gonna come out. Run the line. Because some oh, framing. Oh. Sorry. Sometimes when you're doing pen drawing, if you're anything like me, you'll get a bit overexcited, and you'll really like what you've done in pencil, and then you'll just you'll be really excited, and you'll go in and pen it in, and then you'll have a ton of afterthoughts. You know, you go, oh, that could go there, that could go there. So this little, this little texturing technique I'm showing you here, this is just one of my little book of tricks. 
on how to, you know, post, post penning in, on how to put something there. Hmm, looking real tasty. Uh, black in these again. Cool. Okay, so the one thing we got left. Oh, this is nerve wracking. One thing we got left is this one, and I'm going to rake it forward a bit. But it's not going to. Um, the lees lines aren't going to part as quickly as these ones because remember this is he's pointing away from us, so these are going to be almost parallel. And I'll just wiggle, 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 wiggle them out towards the end. And we'll get another little spiral going down the middle. Energy eyes. Dolphin. <laughs> and now I think for in between his, uh, his veiny underbelly there, these little sections here, you can see something that really worked on this was these these dividing lines here and this just really made him pop I think so what I might do is I might just carry a few of them through the middle which is very, this is going to be very vague, I don't, want to, I don't want it to get too confusing and then I'm going to do some classic stippling and I'll zoom in out a bit for the stippling because it's amazing just what a little bit, of, just a little bit of dodge about the place can do when you're filling in. You just want something. You don't want to put any much more black down, but you just want to fill out a little. Uh, we might just carry on down to his tail. And I might just carry some of these and bleed some of these up a little bit. Cool. Nice one, brother. Okay. It's time. Let's have another little nibble over here. Mm. It's time for me, old friend. You guys are probably getting used to this process by now. I'm gonna get my charcoal out. <clears throat> so what am I gonna do with it? Well, I'm gonna try and imagine that there's a light source but it's somewhere off in the distance and it's over here somewhere I might even draw it in later which is going to be a cop out because I'm probably going to call this video finishing touches so finishing might be a matter of conjecture there so just on the left hand side of every single one of these I'm going to get that charcoal and shade just on the left hand side. God, it is hard this is, you really have to press. Just on the inside. God, it does not want to put out today, this charcoal. Cool. Quite unpredictable these are, but it's alright because you can always rub it out. Just on the inside, I want them to give the even deeper impression that they're raised. So if the light source again is to the right hand side then it's going to be this side on the inside of there. And then of course the veins themselves 
will be casting a shadow onto the body, so we'll get a little bit in there, and a little bit there, and a little bit here. That's a bit dark, never mind. A little bit there. Because we can always just... See, that's a bit dark there. It's just coming with the rubber and take a bit of that off. Not too bad. And then now I've been dying. I have been dying to do this because this is just... This is where things go. Ding! All down is back now. And y'all can just chill while I do this now. We're making big decisions. And then his fin is going to be an almost complete. His dorsal there is going to be an almost complete uh, darkness. tail as well cool and the shadow is looking a bit sharp in my opinion so we're going to be a bit more vague towards the edge of the shadow And then of course, oh, don't forget the fin. Just along the back edge. Ah, oh, see now, take a look at him. Take a look at me now. Isn't he just looking a little bit more? In fact, I might even flip the picture for you just here. Isn't he just looking a bit more Just a bit more, whatever you want to call it. It's just a bit more. Better, faster, stronger. Cool. Vaguely, be vague. Vagueness is your friend. Especially when you're speaking to police. And I'm going to take my, me my pen again. Go over some of these. Especially this this main back line here. Oh, sorry, a little cut there. Don't mind me. It's just my camera thinking it knows what I want. You know what machines are like these days. They seem to really care about you, don't they? Not. Oh, I'll tell you what I might do. I might do some pen shadowing along his backside now. I'm just going to do some lateral lines. Framing. He's really looking like he's got some body now. Always oh, pleased with this stage. Okay, so I'm going to get my medium charcoal now. I'm going to go in again, but this time deep into the shadow. In fact, I'm going to take this and I'm going to bring it out a bit further. Just for the illusion around us there. Which is something 
if you watch me enough, I just really give a massive shit about. I mean, it's a higher priority than my job, a number of other things. Cool. And you, my good people. Have enjoyed. And you can just see now how he's come from being pure cartoonage to being something you can look at and go, yeah, he's there. He exists. He's a thing. <laughs> nice. Just finish off this. Oh yeah. Remember people, the Nazis invented Fanta. Take care of yourselves now. <laughs>